What would you do if the world's fastest man, the one you always count on, falls? It was a day like any other in Central City, until it wasn't. The Flash, our beloved hero, found himself in a battle of epic proportions, facing a coalition of formidable villains that included the likes of Zoom, Reverse Flash, and Grodd. But unbeknownst to him, and to us all, a puppeteer lurked in the shadows, orchestrating the chaos. His name was Inertia. Inertia, a villain of unparalleled cunning, intended to plunge the world into mayhem following the fall of our hero. But the Flash, ever the beacon of hope and courage, wouldn't go down without a fight. He made a choice. A choice that would forever change the course of history. As the city crumbled around him, the Flash, or Nick as we knew him, did what he does best. He ran. But this time it was different. This time, he wasn't running to save one life, or even a hundred, but to save us all. He ran with every ounce of speed he had left, creating a shockwave so powerful it shattered the very fabric of time itself. In that moment, as the shockwave rippled through the city, time seemed to stop. A silence fell, a silence so profound it echoed through the ages. And then, in the blink of an eye, it was over. The shockwave had done its job. It had saved the city, but at a cost we could never have imagined. In the heart of the city, in the epicenter of the shockwave, lay our hero. The Flash, the fastest man alive, was no more. His body lay still, his vibrant red suit a stark contrast against the rubble of the city he had saved. His sacrifice, his final act of heroism, saved us from the chaos inertia had planned. But it also left us with a void, a void that could never be filled. The Flash was more than a hero, he was a symbol of hope, of courage, of resilience. And now he was gone. And just like that, in a flash, our hero is gone. But what happens when a hero falls? Do we surrender to despair, or do we find a way to bring him back? These questions haunted Brian, a close companion of the Flash, as he stared at the remnants of his fallen friend. The loss was profound, the void, immense. But Brian had a plan, driven by a mix of grief and determination. In the dimly lit confines of his lab, Brian introduced his latest invention, a time travel machine. This wasn't just a step towards scientific breakthrough, but a glimmer of hope, a chance to resurrect the Flash. But it wasn't without its risks. Toying with time meant meddling with alternate timelines, tapping into supernatural forces and inviting unpredictable consequences. Brian knew the dangers, but the potential reward outweighed the peril. A spark of hope flickered in the midst of despair, the mission to resurrect the Flash begins. To resurrect a hero, you need a team of heroes. In the aftermath of the Flash's sacrifice, Brian, the genius behind the invention of a time travel machine, calls upon his allies. Each one is unique, each one is powerful, and each one is essential to the mission. First, we meet Morgan, known to many as Catwoman. Agile and stealthy, she's a master of the shadows, a queen of the night. Her cat-like reflexes and quick wit make her a formidable ally. But it's not just her physical prowess that sets her apart. It's her cunning mind. She's a strategist, a thinker, a planner. Next, we encounter Josh, a young hero with a shocking power. He can manipulate electricity, harnessing its raw energy to fly and create storms. His powers are volatile and unpredictable, much like a storm itself. But he carries with him a spark of hope, a beacon of light in the darkness. Finally, we're introduced to a future version of The Flash. He's older, wiser, carrying the weight of countless battles on his shoulders. He's seen the rise and fall of heroes, the shifting tides of time. He knows the cost of sacrifice, but also the power of hope. Just as the team begins to form, their unity is tested. Inertia, the master manipulator of time and reality, launches an attack. Their meeting is disturbed, their plans threatened, but instead of breaking apart, they grow stronger. They stand united, their resolve solidified. Morgan's agility, Josh's electricity, and the wisdom of the future Flash combine to form a shield against Inertia's assault. Each ally, in their unique way, contributes to the defense, proving that they're not just a group of individuals, but a team. Despite the odds, they stood united, ready to face the trials of time. Their journey is just beginning, a journey through timelines and realities, a journey to resurrect a fallen hero. But they're not alone. They have each other. And together, they're ready to face whatever the universe throws at them. Every mission needs a plan, especially when it involves traveling through time. Brian, our resident genius, laid out his master plan on the table. He called it the Resurrection Pit, a risky gambit that drew power from alternate timelines. 
The objective was clear, resurrect our fallen comrade the Flash, but the path was fraught with peril. In every timeline, Brian warned, we'll encounter formidable foes, inertia our time-manipulating nemesis, lurks in the shadows, ready to strike, Darkseid, the tyrant of a dystopian future, reigns supreme. These villains are unlike any we've faced before. They're ruthless, powerful, and they won't hesitate to destroy us. The room fell silent. The gravity of our mission sank in. We knew the risks, understood the stakes. Failure wasn't an option, not when the fate of our friend in the universe hung in the balance. With a collective nod, we agreed to embark on this intricate mission. With the plan in place, it was time to journey across timelines. A journey across timelines Imagine the wonders and horrors one could encounter. Our adventurers first find themselves in a grim dystopian future. This isn't just any dystopia, it's one where Darkseid, the tyrant of Apocalypse, reigns supreme. His minions bow to his every whim, worshipping him as their omnipotent overlord. But our heroes aren't there to pay homage. They're there to infiltrate his dark citadel and reclaim a sacred artifact that holds the key to resurrection. Each step is a struggle, each corner a potential ambush, but they push forward for the fallen flash. Next, they're hurled into an alternate reality. A reality where the golden age of heroes is corrupted, twisted into something unrecognizable. Here, they face a daunting task. To engage a warped version of Superman. Their mission? Retrieve another dubious artifact. But this Superman isn't the beacon of hope we know and love. He's a force to be reckoned with, a titan corrupted by power the team must muster all their courage and strength to face this formidable foe. Finally, they land in a world ruled by none other than Inertia, the time-manipulating villain. Here, the heroes become the villains, their minds manipulated by Inertia's insidious influence. Our team faces off against these controlled superheroes, once allies, now enemies. But they hold firm, remembering why they're there. For the Flash, for their friend. Throughout this journey, our team navigates unforeseen challenges and confronts formidable foes. They're not just battling external enemies, but also their own fears and doubts. But with each timeline, they grow stronger, more resilient. They learn to rely on each other, to trust in their shared mission. Each timeline, a battle. Each battle, a step closer to resurrection. As our adventurers traverse these perilous timelines, they're not just fighting for the Flash. They're fighting for the balance of the multiverse, for the hope that even in the darkest of times, heroes can rise again. Sometimes, the greatest battles are the ones we fight within ourselves. Inside every hero, there's a struggle, a battle with their own inner demons. And it is during these moments of introspection that our team finds themselves. Morgan, our feline anti-heroine, is haunted by her past actions as a vigilante. She's always walked the thin line between hero and villain, and now, more than ever, she grapples with the choices she's made. It's a struggle with guilt, with the question of whether the ends truly justify the means. But in the dark corners of her psyche, she finds a spark of resolution, a determination to make amends and fight for a cause greater than herself. Josh, the young hero harnessing the power of lightning, faces his fear of losing control. His abilities are a wild storm, unpredictable and destructive. The fear of harming those he cares about is a constant shadow, but within the storm, he finds his guiding light. He realizes that fear is natural, but succumbing to it is not an option. His fear becomes his strength, fueling his resolve to master his powers and protect those he loves. The future Flash, burdened with the sorrow of countless sacrifices, confronts his past. He's had to make hard choices, choices that cost him dearly. But this sorrow, this constant reminder of loss, becomes his greatest motivation. He decides to fight, not just for himself, but for those who've fallen, for those he couldn't save. In the face of their inner demons, each hero finds a renewed sense of purpose. Their struggles, their fears, their regrets, all become catalysts for change, for growth. They find strength not just within themselves, but within each other. This confrontation with their inner demons deepens their bond, solidifies their unity. They realize that they're not just a team, but a family. And it is this unity, this shared determination, that prepares them for their greatest battle yet. In the face of their inner demons, they found strength and unity. They were ready for the final battle.